guys and welcome back to another episode of Little Friends. Today we are having episode number 47, but the most important thing, we have a build that's outside Paris. Today we are going to Strasbourg and we have to do something cool from there. And actually, trust me, I kind of did it because uh, <laughs> we have a big roundabout there. It's just under us, but boy was really good in case you were missing one well we i did some other builds from outside paris but those were such a long time ago uh, hey we are back on track let me jump on google earth here so you can understand what i'm talking about let's do a fly as i did before too and i saw this sexiness which is called roundabout <laughs> oh yeah um, i mean yeah don't judge me i know i'm starting with the roundabout but hey don't judge me it's beautiful and I'm building this bibliotheque, uh, which I think is like the 1000 bibliotheque I'm building from France. <laughs> but hey, we have this on the workshop and it was really, really bad thing. It was nasty not to do something involving this one. The, as the other building, actually, I had to, I have to do some PO work uh, to obtain something, something like that. But the roundabout is beautiful. This uh, palace here, whatever it is. It's uh, also amazing, but uh, I'm using something that has this shape, but hey, it will be different. Everything else will be also, it's just some uh, art, some buildings. I'm going to use the same Paris buildings as uh, before. Uh, what else? Yes, here we have some uh, tram tracks and uh, uh, which are actually cool because they don't involve that much of a traffic. Uh, they are, I mean, they don't overlay with the uh, other roads and uh, they are not influenced that much from the traffic from cars uh, we have some met uh, tram uh, stations here and there uh, we'll i like the fact that here goes just cross this tr uh, road and goes back into uh, its own uh, way which is really nice so a lot of green areas for our trams today and this park it's beautiful but guys before we start uh, with the time lapse uh, i want to say that if you haven't seen the uh, previous episode, I made an elevated metro station uh, out of procedural objects and trust me, it is sexy. And I'm uh, also sharing that uh, export on my Patreon account. So you, if you want to actually uh, check it out or uh, even use it in your city, you can download it from my Patreon account only. Enough with the talking, let's do some working here because uh, we need time. And... I think this will be a long, long episode. Anyways, so uh, of course uh, I need to start with the, with building the canal. I need to add some water in it so we can have actually water. The bad part about that canal is that they are amazing. There, uh, there is a pack of uh, lots of type of canals. But the bad part is, if you want to add a proper bridge at the uh, terrain level you will not see the pillars which should be in the water it's sad but hey it is what it is so we have to deal with it i'm okay with it i mean no problem but it is is not going to look properly like the one in real life because i can add that beautiful uh, pillars in the water i built a big uh, roundabout here i think i made it a tiny bit bigger than it should be but um, it, it's really hard for me to scale it and I don't want to use that mod to overlay with the Google Earth. Uh, I added, I just added the uh, bibliotheque, the library building there and here this one is the, is the same um, a library building only that I turn it into a procedural object and most of the roof disappeared. It has some uh, sub meshes or something like that. But you know what? I'm super happy because they disappeared. I want to do uh, the roof uh, myself. So I'm using some uh, warehouses, uh, which are also turned into a procedural object. They have some interesting roofs, uh, most similar to the one in real life, let's say. And this way I can play with it and I can uh, actually color them as I want to. Um, and it's just a tiny bit of, uh, you know, trial and error here and there to make it look uh, as let's say as much as possible with the real ones. Uh, so I added like three, four uh, warehouses there. And I'm adding here a, a building, a, a residential building. I also turn it into a procedural object. I make it just a tiny bit bigger. 
uh, playing with the vertices here to make them disappear so we cannot see them going through the building itself because it's ooglu if we do that um, I'm now I'm just trying to uh, mirror this building in order to uh, have it on the other side as well easy peasy right and uh, the middle there I'm going to fill it in with these roofs made by Ronix which is uh, which are really cool um, there are there are few it's a pack having different type of uh, color uh, roofs and I found this one which is really uh, cool, the gray one. So I'm uh, just plopping them one uh, by one, uh, one near each other and in on top, not on top, on the uh, end of it I'm just lowering them a tiny bit so they look as a roof, right? Uh, we need the water to get down, not uh, <laughs> uh, stay there. Um, well, it's just for the looks, nothing else. Uh, this being said, uh, the last thing to do is to finally match the proper coloring of the roof because I wanted it to be just a tiny bit grayish. So I, after a long time of trial and errors, I managed to find the purple color, the perfect color, not the purple, the perfect color. <laughs> uh, good. And now, um, well, that... Uh, the, the reason why I'm adding these buildings here is just to have an idea how everything else will go um, around it, I am for now. For instance, I'm adding uh, the mm, tram lines. Uh, but in order to do all these kind of things, I need to add some things. You know, to take. Uh, how should I say this? It's a metric thing. The the least thing I can do, to do things a tiny bit more realistic and close to uh, what is there in real life. Uh, by the way, when I was building these, I didn't have the node controller mod, so uh, don't judge me yet. Uh, I will have it lately, later, and I will play a lot with the uh, nodes. Oh my god, that's a game changer if you guys really want to take a shot of trying that. It is a game changer. Uh, here on, this ad on the other side of this roundabout, it's the palace building and I'm uh, using one. Uh, I think this is not on the workshop item, I'm not totally sure. Uh, but I have it, uh, it's a local file at least. And I'm adding these pathways there uh, to... Because that's how it is in real life too. So uh, just... Let's say playing a bit with them. I cannot turn this building into a procedure object because if I'm going to do so, uh, most of it will disappear. It's uh, something with the sub meshes, so yeah, I can't turn it into a procedure object. Uh, this being done here, uh, the other thing that I felt uh, I should do right away was the parking areas. There are two parking areas uh, on both sides of this palace here. I'm using some flat roads, so I can plop those parking lots right at the you know at the surface level so I can cover them with the uh, ploppable um, asphalt some bushes here hedges actually uh, added on uh, around the parking areas to be like uh, the one in real life and I think we are very 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 well um, so this is my advice for you guys take if you want to build something from real life just take you know, a something big, you know, make the biggest things there, like some big roads, some big buildings, add them to be easier for you to, you know, to, to res not the respect, but to take, yeah, to respect the uh, look of things from real life. You know, Google Earth does the entire trick. Then I'm using here some different type of decals, which are gravel or dirt decals, but I'm uh, using the coloring mod in order to make them greenish. Yeah, to have some different type of uh, green uh, spots on it. Now let's move back to the palace there, because there are a few things I need to finish, like uh, adding some retaining holes on, some, uh, on the side of that ramp. Um, in front there, there are some bollards that I will add later, uh, but uh, all in all, um, I'm not going to do too many things, let's say, to this uh, particular entrance uh, from, from here. Uh, I need to add the uh, fence um, around this entire pa palace and its park. Uh, 
um, because there is a fence uh, surrounding the the palace itself where we have a lot of green things like trees, bushes uh, there are some nice pathways there uh, pretty interesting but the, the, the fact is the funny fact is that the both roads that surrounds the uh, palace are one way road in uh, to that the same direction I mean so it's very very interesting you have to do some extra to take some extra roads in order to get back into the roundabout pretty interesting if you ask me <clears throat> Uh, good. This being said, uh, guys, I'm I'm curious. So far, le let's do a, a little game, a little play. Let's see how many of you are still here watching this video at this very uh, moment, and to know exactly who is watching the video and listens to my uh, commentary right now. Uh, let's go for a hashtag into our in, into the comment section, please. Can we do a hashtag Strasbourg? That's it. Nothing more. I would love to, let's make some uh, some little games like this uh, to make things uh, funnier plus I, I really really want to know if there are so many of you uh, watching this uh, still at this minute which is around 10 ish 11 ish yeah actually uh, okay so finishing the uh, back side of the palace uh, I will do a before and after video because there is just a f some foliage, some trees to add, nothing more, and some pathways, that's it. Um, which are, again, uh, surrounded by a fence. Uh, unfortunately, we are not going to build anything uh, into this side. Uh, it's not necessary. Uh, I'm also building, I mean, I'm also adding lots of uh, residential buildings. I made an export with help of the Move It with all possible residential buildings here. That I'm using, it easy. It's easier for me to just look for the one I need, and this way uh, I can actually uh, know, uh, let's say, um, what to add and um, so on. Cool. Uh, now let's. Uh, we are uh, moving to uh, back to the library itself. Uh, let's have a look here on Google Earth. So we did uh, the palace area here. Uh, actually, I did these buildings uh, from here, uh, the parking lots from there, and now we are working on the library itself, the Bibliothèque Nationale and at the University. Okay, Bibliothèque Nationale, library. <laughs> we are doing this area from here, which is I see surrounded by bushes. We have another one-way road to this way, and the ones that I was telling you about earlier, these two are both into this direction so in order to to get back into the roundabout you had to make some extra uh, to take some extra rules there to, to do so cool uh, so as mentioning as I so showed you on Google Earth uh, here in front of the library we have some gravel areas uh, so I'm adding some textures like that for, for it to make it more uh, realistic but the, the rest of it is just uh, pavement, so it's uh, easy peasy, right, to add some pavement there. I've tried to keep some archy green areas, I've tried to add some, a lot of trees. But guys, I, I have a complaint to, to make. <laughs> and that's, if you noticed, no matter how much you put into uh, things to make them look very realistic, not even to compare it with, with real life, I mean with Google Earth, but there is that extra thing or, or something that our rows in the game, the trees and even the cars, they don't match properly with the real with the realistic um, dimension. I mean, they are, they are either too small or too big in some cases. So you can feel and see that gap between them. I've been looking at many pictures, Google Earth, whatever, and I've seen so many differences, uh, which is are which is really really hard to obtain that realistic look because either the cars looks very small compared to the roads, either our trees are not that big as they should be. It's something that gives that extra thingish, which 
still annoys me a lot. Uh, now we got to the point where I, I have to build that checkered area. I've tried with the uh, IMT mod, with the uh, intersection marking tool mod. Uh, it's not working. I don't uh, obtain, I don't get what I need. Then I have these uh, decals made by me a long time ago. Still not happy. I don't like how they look like, to be honest. So I went for the third thing. I took a pavement and I shrink it super quite a lot with the procedural objects. And it's actually a pavement, but is the uh, median type of uh, the median, the one that is used in between the roads. So it's a prop. Don't take me wrong. It's a prop, not a surface. So I shrink it down. I make it small, make it a bit whitish, but not that too white. You know, I kept a grayish uh, look of it. And I just plop down a few of them to make them, uh, you know, more realistic with the ones that I saw on Google Earth and the ones I had for that checkered uh, area. And then just copy paste, uh, we'll do the uh, final trick. Uh, last thing to do, uh, adding some crossings and uh, repainting a bit uh, those uh, checkered uh, props to make them look, uh, you know, like more dirtier, as you can see them right here. Next step, uh, the tram station. Uh, in, thankfully, we have a cool tram uh, station that it's made automatically. Thankfully for these roads uh, made by class. Uh, so as, as soon as you add a, um, a tram station, bam, you have the platforms as well. And they are pretty cool, to be honest. Really, really cool. Uh, adding here some crossings. Uh, th the rest of it will be... Uh, covered with grass, with ploppable grass, and the area where we have these uh, crossings, I'm just adding ploppable uh, pavement. Because, uh, you know, I don't want to have uh, crossings over the grass or something like that. It would be a bit mehy, mehy, mehy. Uh, cool. Now let's move back to uh, finishing the last uh, building. The one that we turn into a procedural object and uh, made it look uh, like it, uh, like I managed to. Uh, for those who are asking themselves, "Hey, too many procedural objects building don't attract people and so on." Uh, actually, I am some, from time to time I'm using this extra trick, let's call it, where I'm adding inside of these buildings that are turned into a procedural objects. I'm adding. There are some service cubes something like that they are being called so you have like offices commercial area uh, uh, buildings residential buildings and so on but they are they look like li little cubes so you can add those thing cubes inside the building and people actually we will walk inside there to you know do what they want to do or they have to do it's simple as that now let's say I'm coming with an extra touch here. In front of this building, there is nothing like this, like a, a fountain or whatever. So it's something I want to add. Uh, it's a little kid, I don't know, peeing or doing something like that. <laughs> and I'm adding some uh, waterfalls. I, I use some waterfalls um, that are actually working and flow, even if you turn them into a procedural object. And I'm adding to, you know, to give a, an extra vibe and a more realistic look. Plus it's function, it looks like it's functioning. So we have water uh, getting out of that fountain. I've added the water surfaces inside of it as well to make it look like there is water inside. So things like that. Plus uh, I added some shelters to the tram station there. Everything looks fine. You know what? I think I still have time to show you to, and I think we will take a tour um, to see exactly how things look at the end of uh, this time lapse, which is kind of in a few minutes. Uh, finishing now the interior of the roundabout with the park itself. I'm not going to keep this road if you are asking yourself. This is something I need to take as a into consideration, uh, but I will cover it with some pavement surface and invisible pathways. I'm doing the same thing with the interior, uh, the small roundabout, not the sole, yeah, let's call it still roundabout inside of this um, uh, park, which will be a bit sunken. And in order to keep this uh, like that, I will use some terraforming networks, which place and can 
change the terrain uh, levels and everything we need to and the last thing to do is adding uh, the stairs at all four sides let's say of these of this um, roundabout here I'm just uh, trying to figure out how how small or big these stairs have to be and how sunken into the ground they have to be because in real life there are not too many steps there so I wanted to keep it uh, as it is uh, as much as, I, as possible in like in real life and I'm doing now like a, a before and after uh, cinematic as well so this is the before part where I have these pathways plop like that and uh, in the after cinematic you can see the surface uh, the, the, the pavement surface uh, and how it looks of course um, the last thing we have to do and I get to do is the um, inside of the park with all those um, trees bushes and whatever uh, but I just realized that I, I think I cut too much and when I say I cut too much not now doing this uh, video editing but uh, before when I was recording I cut too much from uh, recording because I see lots of other uh, areas that I actually built and didn't show but you know what it is, I will show it to you uh, very soon when we'll uh, take the tour on um, uh, to see our to see the build properly you know better from a closer perspective and a slower motion not time lapse and whatnot by the way I probably also so that for quite some time now I keep my uh, time lapse uh, cinematics at a very slow speed it's 400 speed or four time speed because um, I I still want you guys to see what I'm doing and uh, you don't have to slow down the video on YouTube plus also at the same time I don't want to keep the videos too long because it would be very very uh, boring I can say cool uh, I have a deja vu moment here I don't know why <laughs> I think I already seen this what's going on oh my god that's so bad but hey um, I think we it will be better if we if we jump right uh, into the um, into our uh, map so this is the final product of our build and in case you are actually wondering where this is being built so uh, what do we have uh, here we have Mount uh, Martyr Hill with the uh, Sacred Core we have here the pal palace uh, the Luxembourg Palace with the gardens and what's in front of it this is what we built in two episodes ago the little intersection there but here is the place I chose for our Strasbourg um, build, and I think I'm going to continue a tiny bit more. Uh, if you look like, if you look at here, I will continue a bit more with some builds. Maybe along with this entire canal, I'm going to uh, do more Strasbourg builds. I'll have to to look, but I, I don't worry, guys. I have more uh, CDs and more places from France from where I want to take inspiration. Cool. Uh, what I didn't show you into our um, time lapse. So I build these. I plop down these buildings uh, to make them look more similar to the ones uh, from real life. So these are residential buildings here. Also this one and this one from here. This one is just a copy of this. I'm not going to keep it. It was just something I didn't want. You know, I didn't want to have an empty area here behind these buildings. This is our tram station with the platforms and the um, shelters. People are gathering here, waiting. Uh, some of them are even sitting on the benches. We have uh, this little kid uh, peeing here. Uh, nice and done. Uh, what else? Uh, we have lots of invisible pathways running through all this area. And behind here, we have two parking areas because that's how it is also in real life. And I kind of played uh, a bit with this um, road itself. Uh, this is a one-way road. Also here, one-way road to this uh, direction, as you can see. And uh, here it's an entrance to the parking area. And you can do this even from the main road like that. 
This one uh, was done, of course, with the node controller mode, which allows you to make the nodes and intersection a bit uh, larger. Uh, this is the intersection uh, of this tram. I know that here is another tram station, but I'm not going to do it because our road is uh, or tram road is ending here. So I don't want to do anything like that. We will do a few more builds and uh, changes in the future episodes, especially here. There is nothing uh, to be done, but it will be filled in in the next uh, episodes. Okay, let's uh, leave uh, and see the cinematics, guys. Uh, very much, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Leave a comment. Uh, hopefully, you guys left that hash hashtag there. And uh, till next time, I want you guys to take care of yourself. Uh, stay safe there, and uh, I salute you.